Hey guys, welcome to my video. In today's video, we're going to cover seven products for skincare SOS, meaning help, we have some breakouts. I have extremely acne prone skin. I didn't used to and then I started getting stress acne really bad when I was taking care of somebody who was going through fighting for their life basically. Had cancer, was fighting for their life and it took a toll on me physically. I gained a lot of weight. I gained a lot of acne. Now I have extremely acne prone skin ever since. It's been five years now so I've had acne prone skin now for five years and I've learned a few things that really, really help when those breakouts just come and even if you're having the best skincare, you still get them. That is how I get mine. I get mine either from hormones or from stress and I'm sure those two things are related because it happens during hormone week and it happens if I have anything causing me an extreme amount of stress in my life now. And I'm very careful about my skincare. Sometimes it just happens either way. This is what to do when that happens. SOS, like it's supposed to be save our souls, like when someone's on a deserted ship, but we're gonna call it save our skin for this video. So SOS, save our skin. The first tip is to figure out what works the best for you if you're going to use an active acne ingredient. So. There's salicylic acid and there's benzoyl peroxide. Those are the most common. One of them works for some people. The other one works for other people. Find out which one is yours because they are pretty different and our skin is different. So find the one that you're gonna need whenever you are in your own SOS moment. The second tip is to use a clay mask. Clay is really good at absorbing oil and it's really good, especially if you have whiteheads, at absorbing what is clogging those whiteheads. Right now, the one I'm using is from Teamy. This is the Teamy Detox Mask. I really love this. I've been using it for two weeks. It is matcha, lemongrass, and clay. It's also a cruelty-free brand. It's 75% organic. I was contacted by Teamy about a month ago, I would say, and they asked me if I wanted to try some product or if I and if I wanted to become an affiliate. I did a ton of research on their ingredients and their website. Decided this was definitely the brand that like aligned with me. But basically, get a good quality clay mask. Don't just get something that's going to dry your face out. Make sure you're checking out the ingredients, make sure it's really good quality. I happen to have probably like two or three favorites. This is just happens to be the one that I'm using right now. And I love using caffeine on my skin, so this is also full of caffeine. Kill two birds with one stone. Great mask. If you want 25% off, it is an affiliate link, so you don't have to use my affiliate link down below, but if you want 25% off, you can use my link in the description box for this mask. So after you use the clay to get that oil and guck and all of that out of your skin, the second thing that I would suggest is to make sure that you're exfoliating. Exfoliating is actually really, really good for acne. Taking off those dead skin layers actually helps heal the acne. So even though it might not feel the best because sometimes acne can be painful, you do wanna get a pretty good scrub. This is my favorite. I get it from Target. It's Alba Botanica. They also have the best knockout ingredients. So. This one is a 2% salicylic acid medication, and salicylic acid is usually not the one that works for you. Remember I said, find out if benzoyl peroxide works for you or salicylic acid works for you. So when I choose my cleanser, I usually don't choose one with salicylic acid, but this one works so, so, so well. I would say if you have very sensitive skin, like really sensitive, like it gets irritated, you might skip out on this one and try to find maybe one with like rice powder in it. My next tip is to make sure that you are using oil on your face. I have been using this clarifying facial treatment oil. This is a CBD oil. I do think CBD works really well for acne. I know there are people that don't like using CBD. This is not going to alter you in any way other than making your skin clear up. This is from Flora and Bass. It's their clarifying facial treatment. As long as you're using a good quality oil, again, good quality oil. This one has really, really good ingredients as well. I actually got this from FabFitFun. This is a pretty expensive product. The way you apply this, you want to 
massage it into your skin. Like you want to take your time, work it up, and all those other ingredients like the CBD, and this one has retinoic acid, can help clear the acne as well. Oils are good for acne prone skin. A lot of people are scared of oils. The only thing that you have to make sure when you're using an oil is that you're not using one that causes acne. For example, coconut oil causes acne for me, so I don't use coconut oil on my face. That does not mean every oil is gonna cause acne for me. In fact, there are a lot of oils that really do great things for my face. So you have to do a little trial and error to find the one that's good for you. The next tip is to use hot and cold to your advantage. You can do this with water. If you take two bowls, one bowl of hot water, one bowl of ice water, and you put a washcloth in the hot water and put it up against your face, especially where you have the acne. So if you get it on your cheeks, put it up against your cheeks. Then you're going to put a different washcloth into the ice water and put it in the exact same areas and alternate doing that. It's really good for your skin and it's really good for your pores and it helps with inflammation as well. The next tip I have is to spot treat. And this is more for whitehead acne, not for deep cystic acne and not really, I would say for blackheads. Two options. The first is to use an acne patch. If you have a whitehead, like you can see white at the tip of your acne, that means you can pull that out. This actually pulls it out for you. So it's called a hydrocolloid, and I'm sure I'm not saying it right, but who cares? It works even if I don't say it right. It's a hydrocolloid patch. It doesn't feel like it like hurts your skin to remove it, but when you remove it, it will have absorbed the whitehead out of your acne. They're also really good if you'd like to pick at your acne. This will help you to not pick at it because basically it's covered. There's no way you can scratch it. So this will help you clean the acne and also protect it so that your little fingers are not making it worse because we, we like to make it worse, don't we? Yeah, we do. The other option is to use a drying lotion or drying cream. This one from Mario Badescu is pretty good. Mario de is not my favorite, favorite brand, but this one just works really, really well. There is this pink stuff here at the bottom, which is calamine, and then this liquid here. You do not shake the bottle. You literally take a Q-tip, dump it all the way down to where the ingredient is in that pink calamine, pull it out, and then put it right on the spot. But it's going to leave a pink spot on your face. So this is, I mean, you just look extra cute, you know, with your little polka dots on. It's gonna look like you have, kind of like when you had chicken pox. If you had chicken pox, I didn't get vaccinated, so I definitely had chicken pox. Those little like pink spots that go all over your chicken pox, that's kind of what this will look like. So if you have just one, it's probably fine. Like it's not gonna be anything crazy, but if you have like, a bunch everywhere. I mean, take a photo because that's cute, all right? The next tip is to drink a lot of water. Water purifies us. Whenever I have an SOS moment and I'm just like, oh my God, I want my skin to look good this weekend and it's Wednesday and what can I do? I drink a lot of extra water and I drink extra greens. So I drink greens every single day and I do think that's helped my skin a lot. I don't have a container for the one that I use. Teamy has one, but I haven't tasted theirs, so I don't know if it tastes good. And the one that I use, it sells out a lot, but it's Bloom Supplements. If you guys know of a good greens, put it down below because greens, if they taste good and they don't and they aren't chalky, can be so beneficial to skincare. I will post down below like a bunch of greens you can try in case Bloom Supplements is out, but I can't tell you how good they taste because I've only tried three different greens and two of them literally, ugh, they tasted so bad. <laughs> they tasted terrible. That Some brands just don't know how to make greens. They just want you to chug them. And then the one that I do like a lot they're always sold out, like they don't have enough stock. I'll list a few others that I haven't tried, purchase at your own risk, and then I'll list the one that I like if you wanna wait for it to come into stock. Those are my tips on how I've dealt with acne, and I would say that if I have a time when I'm having really bad breakouts, like especially hormone week every month, the two days before my hormone week starts, my face just starts to go crazy. I can like literally tell hormone week is about to start because I'm like, oh, look at my face. Great. And I start doing all the things right away. I start drinking extra water, even though I should probably do that every day, but whatever. I start taking extra greens. I start doing the hot and cold on my face. When you start to see your face breaking out to 
comment down as fast as you can. So those are my tips. If you have any tips, please leave them in the comments down below. If you don't have any tips, leave me a comment anyways and let me know which one was your favorite because that would mean so much to me. Thank you guys so much for watching my video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.